Welcome back, everyone, to It's Your Call. I'm Lynn Doyle. And we are talking about the uh, three American hikers who have been detained in Iran for the last year. They include Shane Bauer, Sarah Schward, and Josh Fatal. Uh, Josh's mother and brother are joining us on this edition of It's Your Call. And we will have more information throughout this segment on how you can help if you feel like you'd like to do something. One way you can help is to go to their website, which is freethehikers.org. And there's a take action segment there. You can find out everything that you need to know and how you can help. Alex, what can you tell us about how these three young people are spending their days mm -hmm. behind the bars of an Iranian prison? Well, the, what they most look forward to is the fresh air time. They get to, to go out into the courtyard and be together, all three of them. Of course, you know there are multiple human rights issues uh, in their detention, but the most egregious is Sarah's solitary confinement. Essentially, for 23 hours a day, Sarah is by herself. Do you have any idea why that is? Absolutely no reason. The Swiss have gone in time and again asking that she get a cellmate. Um, this is a prolonged pretrial detention. Uh, it's wrong. It's you know psychologically the burden. I mean. They haven't been physically mistreated in any way. They're, they're being fed. However, the psychological burden, the way they're, they're isolating them from their families, from the outside world, is really inhumane. And is Josh roomed or celled with, um, Al, I mean, excuse me, Shane? As of December. Now, from late July until early December, they were all in absolute solitary confinement and couldn't see each other. The conditions of their detention eased in December, and Josh and Shane, Shane are together, which has made all the difference to them. They, they exercise, they do some reading, they're creating a routine to kind of get themselves through, uh, but it's extremely difficult. Are they able to communicate with people at home? I know you saw them in person, but can they write letters? I know there's no phone calls, but are they in any way able to, to know how much people love them and miss them? Uh, we tell them that, and we send letters, and Alex and my husband Jacob and I, we write all the time, every day. Does he get them? He gets most of them, we believe. And Shane gets letters as, as well as Sarah. However, they do not have the bil ability to send letters out. So, um, and there's been different periods of time where they've had pen and pencil and paper, but um, at the moment they do not, they cannot write to us and have not ever since their detention been able to write to us. So um, I just feel, and I know because Josh has told me, it's a lifeline that when these letters that he gets, he really, really cherishes them. And um, so it makes us want to write even more every day. So um, Would it that be has helpful worked. if people wrote to him or wrote to them? Yeah, we have a PO box on the website where people can send letters and we forward those on. Um, we don't know if letters from non-family members get through. But if they do, it's, you know, I'm sure it will lift their spirits tremendously to know that somebody who they've never met before uh, in, in Pennsylvania is, is thinking about them. Every little bit helps. Everywhere across the country, the show's seen. So hopefully, if you want to do something, go onto that website, get the information. Um, we are almost out of time, but I'd, I'd like Laura, for you to hold this picture sure. up and explain it to me um, and to our, our viewers because it, it says so much. Sure. It's a very happy picture and I have this on my refrigerator actually at home. This is Josh, here is Sarah, and here is Shane. And they were in the town of Erbil in Iraqi Kurdistan and it's quite hot that day. And um, they're just sitting and looking out over the um, city of Erbil and it's very calm pretty summer day. And within two days after this, they are hiking in Akhmadawa, the area of Akhmadawa, and they're taken. And um, I know many of your viewers are my age, perhaps, and um, have children that are 31 and 27 or 28 years of age. Josh has spent most of his 27th year in a bean prison. And, um, he was taken, Josh was taken on my father's 85th birthday on July 31st. So we will never forget that birthday. Um, but here we have moments of happiness right before the capture. 
Well, I know that I speak for everyone who's watching the show when I say I hope that uh, we get to see these smiles again and sooner the better. I can see where your sons get their great strength because you have been an inspiration to all mothers. I have no idea how you've survived this last year, but all of our thoughts and prayers are with you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And Alex, thank you so much. If you'd like to help, please go to that website and do whatever you can to bring these hikers home. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.